Hello, in today's video, we're not going through Power BI or Databricks or Azure. We're actually going through note keeping through Notion. Um, so what I'm going to do is to work through how I organize my life as a solution architect using Notion. Disclaimer first, Notion is not paying me anything to record this video. As a matter of fact, I used to do majority of my note keeping in OneNote, but uh, where I currently work does not allow OneNote. So I try all the different note keeping apps, including Evernote, Google Keep, Apple's note keeping, as well as to do. None of it was good enough to do what I wanted until I come across Notion. And today I run my professional and personal life, as well as meeting note taking, as well as collaboration projects and any kind of technical learning or on Notion. And recently I worked uh, through how I use Notion through with a few of my coworkers. As I have a rule, if I'm explaining the same thing over three times, I typically make a video about it. So here we go. We're gonna to move to my laptop and go through how I use Notion. But before we start, please like this video or subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Let's go. So here we are in Notion. First section we have is technology. So this is where I take all the notes for my technology learnings and I have different type of notes. First up is a follow up. So when I have a meeting with a customer on a specific topic of the technology, I typically send them a list of links from documentation that they can read up on. And this is where I collect all the links under a certain topic within Notion. So after the meeting, I can just send them li this list of URLs. And learning is where I note down all of the learnings regarding certain technology or certain aspects of technology. When I take a course, when I have a, a conversation with my coworker, I note down everything that I didn't know before. In terms of resources, these are a lot of internal resources in terms of GitHub um, repos or Alasian pages that I can find useful information for, for that specific topic. And DEX is where I have links for different presentation decks I can use, ranging from L100 to L400. So those are from beginner to very, very advanced deep dive topics as per that um, specific technology. So I have these pretty much mapped out for a lot of different technology I work with or different features I work with. And I can then show them by tech. And if I want to do something like Delta Live tables, I can see the follow-up docs in there or go to the decks in there. And I can add in the technology here as well. So I can just type and add a new one, let's say new tech, and I can create a new technology here. So it's very handy for me to kind of learn new things and note down any kind of learning and resources regarding that technology. I can't really show you what my customer notes looks like. So I made a demo page for the customer notes. It's very similar to technology where I basically take notes based on different customers and my customers is going to be my um, type that I filter here. So if I take a new notes, um, I can basically choose different templates. I've set these templates up. So some of these are Notion's kind of inbuilt templates, for instance, a daily stand-up. So if I'm running a POC with a customer, I typically will have a daily stand-up with them. So I can just fill out this template. And um, what's really useful about this is it's already given you kind of the title and you can just list things out as you wish. And I can choose the customer I have. So um, again, I can add a new customer if I want. All of these are um, kind of being noted as a type within Notion. So I can later filter by them. The to-do list is very, very handy. So what happens is you can add a new row. 
and you can forward slash and then you can add a to-do list. So I typically take the um, note within this meeting note so I don't go to my to-do list and add, add to-do. I will write my to-do in here and what I do is at the end of the day, I will take a look at all of the meetings I run within the day and take a look at all of the to-do list. If these are the things that I can do within a minute or two, I will do them in two minutes. Things like send follow-up docs. I will go to my tech section and take the follow-up docs URL and send it to the customers within 10 minutes. Things like uh, test something out. These will take longer. And what I do is I then move them to my work to-do list and mark out time in my calendar to do this in a more structured way. So. This is one type of meetings. What I also do quite a lot is a discovery call. So this is my own template that I had set up. This is not Notion's template, but you can set up a new template as you wish. So I typically go through who's the uh, key stakeholder, what's the use case, what is they're currently using? What do they not like about? What do they want to do? What's the timeline? And again, the to-do list. And um, this is really useful because uh, discovery calls I run typically follow this structure. So I can just have this for the same um, structure, but for different customers. And what I then do is to add new items if specific topics come up that's not follow, uh, that doesn't follow this structure. So I can just use normal markdown language and say, this is uh, any other business, and I will just take notes like that. Another thing that I typically run is a POC scoping document. So again, this is my own template. And as long as you know how to write markdown language, it's quite simple. So I just use this to note down the requirements, the success criteria for a POC, and uh, what's the problem statements, and who's doing what in terms of timelines, and so on and so forth. It's quite useful for me because I can just follow this stru structure and run different POCs with different customers um, using this template. Also, what you can do is to start your own template. Again, this follows the markdown language. So I can just do this as overview. And then within overview, I can just quickly do what oh, that is not. So I can do a different header to say what and when. So you can do all sorts of markdown here. And then you can also forward slash and add in different points, um, different kind of content as far as Notion lets you. Again, it lets you do a lot of things in terms of image, videos, audios, code, a lot of different things that um, you can explore yourself. Um, so after that, what I typically do is to go to buy customer view, and then I can just filter by the specific customers, or I can go to the list view and filter by discovery calls or POCs and look at all of my discovery documents or POC documents. Again, I can't show you what my work to do uh, looks like. So I'm going to show you how my personal to do looks like. So um, this is following a Kanban structure. So to do, planning, doing, and done. And these are different tags. So I do things like travel, life admin. Um, I do YouTube planning, blogs, as well as learning and the books I read and different type of tags. Within certain page of tags, these are the friends I'm trying to meet in the specific destinations that I am going to visit. This is in to do so. Clarence and Rao have no idea I'm planning to meet them, but I will go meet them in Singapore um, in beginning of next year. These are the things that I plan to do for 
the things that I'm planning and doing, I try not to do more than one per category. In terms of um, doing, I have, again, to-do listed out on here, but because this is the entire certification, there's a lot of things I need to learn for this cert. So I just made a to-do and take things off as I go. So this week I'm doing chapter seven. And by the end of this week, I should have chapter seven ticked off. And Notion tour is what I'm currently doing as a YouTube video. And in terms of filtering, so I could quickly filter by um, tags, for instance. So I just look at my travels or I just look at my the books I'm reading or I can just look at my YouTube videos I'm planning to do. Um, again, I can look at this by list. So this is quite handy because what I now can do is to sort it. And I can sort it by due date as it's already sorting. And in here, I can actually um, take out the kind of properties I don't want to show. Currently, I'm showing due date and I'm showing text. If I don't want to see text, I just want to see um, the status as well as the due date. I can do that. And if I don't want to show status even, I could just do that as well. So it's quite handy. I just have the due date left and I know I have to get certain things done by what date. So that's quite um, useful. I also run collaboration with different coworkers on Notion. So if I go to, um, this is a shared page with my coworker, Marius. And uh, Marius here is a big fan of emojis. So we had emojis put in for pretty much everything. And uh, so we have to do, doing and down like the Kanban board. And within a collaboration space, I can have this assigned to Marius. He's on holiday, so he doesn't know. Um, by the time he comes back, this is assigned to him. So he has to do this instead of me. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's quite useful. This is the same for all the other um, items, uh, cards I have run through. So you can actually um, put emojis. I do this a lot in my actual kind of tasks or meetings. If I have a good meeting, it's a happy emoji. If I had a bad meeting, it could be a sad emoji and so on and so forth. I hope you enjoyed that little walkthrough on my Notion. I know there's a lot of features on Notion I'm not using yet. I'm also in the beginning of my journey on exploring different features within Notion. If you have any tips or tricks you want to leave me with, please comment. And again, thank you very much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.